Okay, who likes their jewelry big and loud? Chunky, chunky, chunky all the way. The brighter, shinier, the better. Then you'll love a Mayan cross necklace, the unmissable centerpiece of the sweet romance line of costume jewelry. The Mayan cross necklace is uh, a beautiful composition that takes the colors of the earth, sangria red, flaming tangerine orange, aqua, and topaz. It's just a wonderful blend of colors. Shelly Cooper's lifelong passion for historical jewelry led her to start Sweet Romance, where she brings antique jewelry, those dazzling showy costume pieces made popular by Hollywood starlets of a different era, back into fashion. The Hollywood stars of the 1950s wore a lot of costume jewelry, and this really helped to set trends among the wider population. Early on, Sweet Romance began taking the ideas from old jewelry, the silhouettes, the colorations, the palettes. The Maya necklace takes its inspiration, as you may have guessed, from the jewelry of the Maya culture, specifically the Yucatan of Mexico. Today, you'd be forgiven for thinking the big cross centerpiece represents Christianity, but its true symbolism predates Jesus by hundreds of years. Actually, the Mayan cross is a symbol of the tree of life, and it was really, really important for the culture of the Mayans. They regarded the cross as a symbol through which one could uh, receive uh, divine inspiration. Shelley's inspiration is simply history, and each piece begins as a hand-drawn design sketch followed by a consultation with her team. I thought we would try to figure out how we're going to maybe make the glass correspond to the resin. I like it because it runs smoothly through the filigree. I'll produce a frontal illustration that shows a frontal view and a side view. And I'll make it so that it is exactly to scale. Shelly then turns that cross-shaped tree of life into a mold. The bronze crosses are set in her 10,000 square foot studio in Gardena, California, ready for bedazzling. First, the crosses' gem cavities are buffed and polished. Then, colorful top secret liquid enamels are mixed before being skillfully dropped into the cavities. We decided to create a resin. Once it's deposited in place on the cavity where stone should go, it creates a domed surface. So it has the appearance of a stone. The cross will be held around the neck by three chains, a beaded chain and two brass chains. They get made while the resin dries. The bead chain is a mixture of hand-blown silica glass and ceramic. Each necklace contains 50 beads, which are painstakingly hand-threaded one at a time. The making of the beads has a filament, both gold and dark blue, that wind their way through the molten glass. And it sets up the idea of the embroidery that the Mayan women use. Gold was vital to the Maya culture, and Shelley's chosen to honor it by using gold-colored brass. Every chain loop is individually crimped by hand. To cap the chain off, dozens of glass crystals are meticulously glued in for extra sparkle. It's really like colorful and I think it gives you more personality. When the necklace is done, it'll weigh about four ounces. But when you own the room, who's counting? The whole focus of your look is gonna be the Mayan cross. So you should wear it with something white, maybe a white dress or maybe a white top, something like that. Finally, all three chains are gathered and threaded through the eye-catching Maya cross. The necklace is given a final inspection before being shipped to boutiques, jewelry stores, theaters, museums, and anywhere else. We go wherever we can get a purchase order. <laughs>